This is Tim Albright with Aviation, previewing Cedia Expo 2021 back and in person the 1st through the 3rd of September at Indiana Convention Center in beautiful downtown Indianapolis. With me to talk about uh, his booth is Mr. Dennis Holzer from Powerhouse Alliance. Welcome, sir. Tim, thanks to ha- for having me back and to talk about Cedia. Absolutely. What a, what, glad what, to be- a, what about something new there, talking about a show? Well, <laughs> after a year and a half, Dennis, I, I will be. I, I'm I'm darn near tempted to get uh to get a uh, a tie dye tuxedo for the week. Um, <laughs> just I don't know a top hat, something something special to to kind of celebrate. This will be our first show in reality. Um, here at Aviation Nation, we've had a couple of, of of side events, but really this is our first show. Um, getting back together. Um, a lot of folks, it's it's theirs as well. Indiana. Uh, going back to CDS headquarters in Indianapolis. Um, we walk into your booth. Again, your booth number is 4207-4207. Uh, what are we going to find uh, this year after after almost a year and a half, two years of seeing uh, your beautiful face in the, in the powerhouse booth? Well, the first thing you're going to find is that uh, we're all going to be there on the floor. And powerhouse this year has a 40 by 40 booth. And... We are sticking to the basics because I believe over the last year or so, um, that's what's come out of COVID, that uh, the basics have sold and sold very well. So in my booth, you will have 12 kiosks, one representing each of my members from the different territories. They will be along the perimeter of the booth. And then down the center of the booth will be our main, I'll call it building, which will have 20 vendors around the outside of the building displaying their products. And then internally, we have some conference rooms and things like that for those vendors. If you want to meet with them, they can take you in and talk or the members, each each of the members kiosks has a representation, a video representation of their their building, their surroundings and things they do. Yeah. Talk for a second about 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 those 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 various uh, distribution centers that you guys have, uh, because if folks aren't familiar specifically with the, with the powerhouse alliance uh, model, your 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 centers, um, your, your offices and warehouses there, it, it reminds me of um, of a uh, of a of a box store. Right. And, and I mean that as a, as a compliment, because mm-hmm. members can go up and down the aisle. It's not just a, a brown box. It's not just a white box. You have actual a description of what the product is, is right? You, you've got specs on the outside, which I think is kind of unique and, and, and different, especially for, you know, um, um, residential uh, integrators who may, be, may or may not be familiar with product X, Y, or Z or brand X, Y, or Z. It gives them the ability to kind of take a look at it while they're in the store, while they're in the, in the center there, and kind of make the decision whether or not this product can fit this job. So, Tim, how many times, it doesn't matter whether you're an integrator, you're a consumer, um, you have a project at home or a project anywhere, and you go to buy the products for your project, and you come home and you said, oh, my God, I forgot. And if you're anything like me, that happens all the time. And so what we, the store over the weekend, exactly, yes. you know, for the, to do the same thing. Do so one job. Yeah. And typically the older style distributor and still to this day, some of the older style distributors used a counter approach where you walked up to a counter, you met with a salesperson from there, an inside representative, and you wrote down what you, you know, you told them what you needed and they pulled the stuff from the warehouse. 12 years ago, what we did is we went to a self-serve concept in addition to counter sales and in addition to your your regular mass warehouse. So what we did is we siphoned off around 2,500 square feet to 3,500 square feet in most. Some are a little bit larger. And we put aisles in there of all of the common products that you need. And, you know, we do have a few TVs in there, but by and large, our, most of our TVs in our, are in our bulk warehouse. But we have speakers in there. We have, obviously, receivers. We have every single type of cable, every faceplate. And those are the things that typically you forgot about when you walk down. All of a sudden, there's a brown faceplate. And you're not thinking and you, you buy these things and you, you get into the room and you realize that that family has a, a room that would work with a brown, a black, a yellow faceplate. So what do you do? You run now back to get it. So what we've done is we've opened that up so you can literally take a cart up and down those aisles. First of all, it helps you with speed because you don't have to wait for us to help you. We certainly do have people in the area in case you don't understand a product 
or you know does this product work correctly with this product and what we also do on the end caps of each of these aisles is we put new brands to display that we have so that you're aware that hey we now have this in addition to whatever else we have and the concept has worked out tremendous our dealers love it and you know they don't have again you can but you don't have to wait for us you know at a counter type setting or something like that you can just go in uh, most of uh, our busiest hours of the day are always 7 to 9 a.m. and typically 3 to 5 p.m. because that's when people are either picking up stuff for today's job or tonight picking up stuff for tomorrow's job and so they can come in in and out 20 25 minutes get everything you need for a common home theater a common residential security system a networking system and you're gone we check you out just as you would go to a big box store or retail store, we check you out and you're in your truck. Now, you can also drive around if you're picking up 20 TVs. You know, you can back your truck up to a dock door and get those 20 TVs. Or anything I just said to you, you can call ahead and not need to go in. And obviously, we'll bring it out to your truck or you can back up your truck and as traditional warehousing used to be. Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the idea there of the of the end cap concept as well to introduce your members uh, to the new products that you guys have is absolutely brilliant as well. Uh, something else that you can get uh, where you can get their new new um, product is in their booth, 4207-4207, September 1st through the 3rd. Dennis, not everybody's going to make the trek to Indy, uh, which is unfortunate because we've got, you know, um, we have uh, drinks to drink and, and um, meals to eat. A great steakhouse there in, in Indianapolis. But regardless, uh, if they don't go to Cedia, how do they connect with you and, and Powerhouse Alliance? They can do it one of two different ways. They can go to www.powerhousealliance.com, and the first screen that comes up is a map of the United States. You can auto take your mouse right over to where you, you live. That'll show you who that member is and the locations of, of that member. And again, we have over 60 locations now across the U.S., so that's one way. If you want to talk to me and personally or ask me, dholzer at powerhousealliance.com. Trust me, I take those emails every single day, and I'm happy to talk to you. All right, very good. Dennis Holzer from Powerhouse Alliance. Again, 4207-4207 is the booth number uh, if you're going to CDIA. Again, CDIA, 1st through the 3rd of September. For us, for Aviation, go by our website, aviation.tv. That's aviation.tv, and follow along as we also head to Indianapolis for CDIA Expo 2021, the 1st through the 3rd of September. All that and more at aviation.tv. That's aviation.tv. 